Hey everybody, iHeartMovies here, welcome back, let's replay Final Fantasy 1. We're on the third floor of the Flying Fortress, about to resume our climb to the fifth and final floor. And also, we have a ton of treasure to find on this floor, so let's get right to it. Went ahead between episodes, or actually before recording, and ran around for a bit to find out where to go. Get a, uh, my plan all, well, planned out here, so I can streamline the episodes as much as possible. And that's something I should try to do more often too, before I start recording, um, run around for a bit, find out where to go, where the items are, so I can make things as quick and painless as possible. This makes things easier for me, and for you guys as well. So you guys don't have to watch me run around everywhere for an hour trying to find one chest, so... There we go. Also, Yang's poisoned again. It seems like only he gets poisoned, no one else does. Well, those magic defense does kinda suck, but anyway. Anyway, yeah, all sorts of good stuff up here. Protect Cloak, that's your shield for your white mage and black mage and red wizard there. I have no idea why these are here, but whatever. Anything else of value? Not some more money and all that. Can't go wrong with that. But yeah, um, the room to, to the um, south there of where the teleporter thing was. Not, re not really teleporter, but where, um... Oh, what was it? Where that globe thingy was that we, we could see the uh, world from. To the south there, there's nothing. A couple of rooms that say analyzing Tiamat, no weakness. I think I actually already showed that off last time anyway. Uh, but there is stuff to the uh, to the uh, east, north, and west of that central point there. So we'll take care of that, and then we'll go from there. Also, I probably should have had Rosa use the uh, gauntlets or something, but eh, not a big deal. This battle's pretty easy enough. I've been trying to keep conservative with my MP as well, like for big groups like this, again, stick to using Faraja, Blizzard, Thundaga, what have you. Uh, but in this case here, let's go ahead and have Rosa chip in with the uh, gauntlets, if I can find them here. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. here we go. And, oh, got a message. Message as an email. Did you peek, you peek? Yay, video's now on YouTube. That's right, yeah, I posted the um, update video earlier with the announcement the, of uh, Wild Arms 2 LP on the way. <sighs> I cannot wait to do that one. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be long. I, I, I will say that. It's a pretty long game. I mean, it's two discs, but there is a lot of stuff to do. Um, you know, lots of side stuff to do, tons of optional bosses and everything like that. It's going to be a hell of a ride. Like I was saying in the update video that adds to my uh, repertoire of lesser known games I've been LPing. Because yeah, you have Wild Arms 1, soon to be Wild Arms 2, Lunar 2 Eternal to Complete, Slaughter Frontier 2, and then later on we'll have um, Lunar Silver Star Strike Complete, we'll have uh, Legend of Dragoon, Actraiser, Brain Lord, Lagoon, all sorts of good stuff there. Anyway, these guys here, again, Nothing too simple, well, nothing too hard about them, I should say. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're pretty damn easy, really. And some more money. Ooh, protectoring. But yeah, I I bought those forever ago, so I don't really need them. It's a nice thought. Oh, do I need the uh, protect look on anyone? Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, let's give it to. Who has to crap your defense? Oh, Rosa by far. There we go. Eight more defense. Can't go wrong with that. I wish I had any, uh, an elven cloak or two from the uh, Earth Gift Shrine, but I uh, wasn't lucky with the uh, RNG giving me one in one of the uh, chests, but oh well. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's make our way over here. One last treasure trove. And then from here on, it's actually smooth sailing. You'll see in the uh, next floor here is actually quite simple when you know where to go. And the one after that is also pretty easy. So, well, actually, that one's quite easy, I should, I should say. Anyway, more treasure over here. Uh, anything actually worthwhile? Ooh, Sasuke's Blade. I think that one is ninja only, though. I, I want to say, anyway. It would make sense. But let me just check, just to be sure. Yeah, it's it's uh, uh, ninja only, so if you have a ninja, by all means. But yeah, I already used a ninja in my first playthrough of the game, so I don't really care for that. The ninjas are pretty awesome. Really, in most games, they are. Especially in most Final Fantasy games or wherever, wherever else they appear. It's pretty sweet. Um, levels, yay! 
party still kind of out of whack with uh, people being stoned and whatnot. Anyway, this room here, this will loop on forever if you don't find the teleporter, so the easiest way to do it is just go left once, we'll count that as one. Right here's left two. So you yeah, two, have two areas, whatever you want to call them, from the uh, center there. Let's go ahead and use Blizzada and chip in with the uh, gauntlets for a bigger group of these guys. Uh, yeah, they're way down here. And then yeah, from here we'll just go up to, and then that'll be that. Yeah, I've had many a time well, I'll, but before I didn't have a, a map or a guide or anything, I would be aimlessly lost. And I was like, oh, there it is. Or you find the teleporter, you go in, oh, hey, I found it! And it takes you back to the uh, third floor, and you're just sad. <laughs> now, we're going to uh, avoid that today. So yeah, left two, and up two, of course, I already made sure that this would be the right way to go. Didn't I just fight these things? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, well, I have no problem spamming my uh, best spells for these guys. Do -do 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 -do. Down to the gauntlets, down to the gauntlets. Let's call the episode Throwing Down the Gauntlets, because I'm doing that a lot. It's actually funny, in the Lunar 2 strategy guide, um, they had the equipment info there, and it says, um, thanks for gauntlets, you can see how uh, Gene and Lamina can equip them. You'd be like, you could throw these down, but then you lose battle, you, you lose battle of defense points, so don't. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, another okay, Twitter thingy, I'll check that later. Yay, more levels. Anyway, yeah. There you go, teleporter, and boom. Now, I want to save here real quick and heal up. Because I may or may not fight something extremely powerful upcoming here. Um, I'll heal my MP up a little bit too. Yeah, on this floor and this floor only, you can fight what's called the Death Machine. Uh, it's it's really really powerful, and if I fight him, I could potentially maybe die. I don't know. Um, I think usually right around here, if you run back and forth, he'll appear. Um, it's pretty rare, though. I will say that. But yeah, if you want to farm him. By all means, he gives a ton of experience, I believe. I think 8,000, I think? Um, I'm pretty sure, anyway. He can also drop the uh, Genji armor, which is awesome. Um, so if you want to farm him, by all means, it'll just take a while. But anyway, I want to heal up for that, and also for this. Uh, I don't need to fully heal. Nah, I'm fine. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to this thing. What do we got? Yeah, took down all your bros and sisters and chums and acquaintances. Well, what can you do? You're only a green orb. I don't fear you one bit. Or you could be a six headed dragon that works too. Alrighty, we have the final fiend against Tiamat. This bitch is a bitch, I can tell you that right now. Now, if you wanted to, you could go El Cheapo and use the uh, razor we found earlier to uh, cast Scourge for free, and that can sometimes, well, it will one-shot her if it actually connects. Thing is, though, it has a pretty crappy accuracy, so it's not really reliable, but it's there if you want to do that. I will not be doing that route, though. I'll be doing my usual uh, buff up with uh, Giant's Gloves and all that crap there. If I can find them, there we go. Uh, did haste. Uh, Rosa, let's just go gnaw everything, pretty much. Yeah, Tiamat is pretty balanced all around. I'm pretty sure she's also a she. At least I think that's how they refer to her in most games anyway, I don't know. But yeah, she can be pretty powerful, um, both physically and magically, so uh, we want to definitely get buffed up there. Go ahead and get the uh, Giant's Gloves going on me. Uh, that's the Genji Helm, by the way, dumbass. Oops. I saw the G and I was like, oh, okay, found it. Uh, there we go, Giant's Gloves, attack, get haste on me, let's get a, uh, Proterra go, and that'll help. Yeah, probably a good idea if they buffed up all the usual stuff with, uh, well, Null Shot, Null Shot for one, um, that still hurts like a bitch, jeez. I'm um, yeah, Proterra, Invisera, Hate, Temper, Giant's Gloves, um, uh, yeah, the Null Elemental Spells, I don't know if she can use all the Elemental Spells, like, all three elements, but I would cast them anyway, probably just to be sure. 
At this point now, we'll just go ahead and spam Temper, but I should heal up first. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, at this point now, yeah, once you're all buffed up, you'll cut through your HP in no time. Also, Poison Gas. That could hurt. Ow! <laughs> yeah, she's kind of hard. But luckily I have heal auto, so we're in good shape there. There we go. Not too shabby at all. Let's go ahead and just keep spamming temper on Yane there because he's my power hoose. And let's go ahead and heal up Yane as well. I don't want him to die again. We've had that happen one too many times already. But she's already dead. I think she has like 2400 HP. Or something like that. Not really a whole lot there. So, that takes care of that. I think she's an she can also drop a weapon. Um, I know um, the Kraken could drop a Kikuichi Munji, so yeah, I don't know. I'll check. But anyway, that takes care of that. So all four crystals are now lit up. So now what? Well, before anything else, why is my mouse flickering? Anyway, uh, here we are at the uh, Whisperwind Cove. This will be the uh, fourth and final bonus dungeon here. That one's a bitch. It's 40 floors long. <laughs> That's gonna be oh so much fun to do that. Uh, anyway, do I need to heal at all? Uh, slightly, yes. Let's go ahead and heal up Yang there. And we're good. We're good. So let's get out of here. Oh my god. Not what I wanted. Okay, I can kill you guys too. Fine. Uh, Gauntlets, throwing you down again. I'm very sing Sonny today, I like that. Apparently, I've been told, speaking along the lines of sing Sonny, I have a good radio voice. I. I don't know. My uh, English teacher in, in 11th grade told me that, and I was like, okay, bro. I, I didn't really say that, but <laughs> you get the idea. Anyway, we're out of there. Um, will the world map show this now? If I can do the B select thingy. Okay, it doesn't show on, on, on our world map, but you remember the uh, globe thing showed all four energies in the world, centering at the Chaos Shrine. No, it's a center point in the world there. So that's kind of where we're supposed to go next. But before we do that, and after I kill this dinosaur, who has very, very small arms, and I laugh at you for that. Okay, anyway. Yeah, before we do that, let's go ahead and hop back in the airship. And remember we got the Adamantite earlier. Um, I don't know if I showed the guy way back when, but there's an NPC back over in Mount Dorgar um, who's looking for the Adamantite. So let's go ahead and drop that off, if I can find the place. Um, am I close? Am I close? Nope, nowhere near. Wrong continent. It seems to be labeled or some shit, that'd be a lot easier. And find over them. Oh, this is the continent where Gaia is. Like, oh, okay, awesome, thanks. Though that'd be too easy. Um, okay, there's Melmond. So I'm close. Oh, here we go. There they go. I. That's not it. Son of a bitch. It's over this way. That's right, it's, uh. The uh, Mount Dorgar is before Melman. That's right, I forgot. And I can't land there. Damn it! There we go. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, I believe the guy is right up in here. Yes. Hi! What's up? Yeah, I found this giant rock. Oh my god, a giant rock! Nah, it would be. It says right on it, by the way. Ooh! Now, if only sword crafting could be that easy. Take a rock, hit it with a hammer five or six times, you have the best sword in the universe. If only. And we'll take it off his hands just like that. Works for me. Also, lines up there go away. I will deal with it. And we did the Mighty Excalibur, one of the best swords in the game. Well, it would be normally in the uh, NES and PS1 versions, but in this version of the game, there's a lot more stuff that's a lot more better than that. But, for right now, it's pretty damn awesome, I will say. Yeah, hefty attack boost there, we're in great shape there. Alright, now, um, if you wanted to, you could go to the Chaos Shrine right now, 
That's where we're supposed to go, by the way. And, uh, you know, blast area and beat the game. I don't want to yet. Although... Uh, let me think here. Um, okay, what, actually, what I'll just do here... Um, I'll go back to the Chaos Shrine right now to show off what happens there. But I intend on not doing that right away. What I want to do is just show something off there real quick, and then I'll fly over to the Hellfire Castle. And anyway, all four crystals are lit up, so... Let's do this! Whatever we're doing. Oh. And you'll travel back 2,000 years in time! Ooh, cool effect there. See, so yeah, that's our teleporter that'll lead us, well, to the Chaos Shrine 2,000 years ago. So, I'll just go and show it off here real, real quick here. Here we are, the last area of the game. Bye. <laughs> yeah, there's a little, a, a quick look in. We'll be back there later on, not right now. Although, I could easily handle that right now, it's not really all that hard. But, yeah, it'll wait till later. Anyway. Where I do want to go is way up north, back to the Hellfire Chasm. If I can find it without yawning! Uh, oh god, I didn't mean to yawn, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to hold it back, I really did. I'm still kinda tired, I only woke up two hours ago. Where the hell is the Hellfire Chasm? I was like, wasn't I close, I thought, maybe? No! Hellfire Chasm, where be you? No, no. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm close. I knew it. Yeah, my sense of direction, not that great. But you guys already knew that, I'm sure. Um, is it this one right here? I forget. I hope so. Please be. No. Damn it. Um, uh, okay, let's try hole number two. No. Damn it. There we go. Come on. Please be it. There we go, the Hellfire Chasm. This one will be fun. This one is uh, 10 floors, plenty of boss fights, and all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, bes besides me. Okay, so I'll tackle the Hellfire Chasm. I won't be able to make it through the entire way next time, but we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Iron Movie signing off. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.